of soccer tournament and bringing us right up to date with what's been going on and with a breaking story for the local club. We can join Stephen Watson live at Coleraine Showgrounds. Stephen. Yeah, thank you very much, Sarah. A real football fever here again today. More than 24 matches taking place all around this area from Ballymena, Port Rush, Port Stewart, Ballymoney, and here in Coleraine. 52 teams taking part from 23 different countries, making this truly one of the top international youth football tournaments in the world. And uh, Northern Ireland players are making a big impact. <laughs> Celebrations for the teenagers from Tyrone who delighted their fans for the famous Milk Cup win over Paraguay. Dermot McGookian scored the winning goal to produce an unforgettable victory. It's so pure, out of this world. Like, it was still light and think until we were older that we'll just rac like, recognise how big a skirt this was. But hopefully we'll go on and do better and uh, beat this next team and get into the main tournament. Another young local footballer was creating quite a stir in Lima Valley. Jonathan Evans, a possible Premiership star of the future, scored one of Manchester United's five goals against London Derry. Yeah, we'll be coming up here for probably about the last seven years and we'll be staying in this area. This is my third year playing in it now. And, you know, I've always wanted to play for Manchester United and hopefully we can go and win it. And three more local names to watch out for. Kyle Lafferty, Tommy Stewart and James Bell. They scored Northern Ireland's goals in the 3-1 win over Serbia-Montenegro. Northern Ireland's next game is on Wednesday night against Brazil. And that game is one of the many matches you can see live on the World Wide Web, thanks to BBC Northern Ireland. For all of the, the details of our Milk Cup coverage, log on to our special Milk Cup website, or you can text the word MILK to 81010 on your mobile phone. Now, that other breaking story that we're working on here today at Coleraine is the ongoing crisis for this.